I had a chance to work on from day one. So I'm very excited. It came from a piece of paper all the way to what you see behind me. This was a great opportunity for FCA, for Chrysler Group and Fiat at the time to start from uh, scratch with putting both market objectives on a piece of paper and saying from day one, how do we engineer a car that meets all these market demands without taking a car that we already had and we call homologating it. This car, from day one, we said, here are the list of things that if we were to build the perfect Fiat for the North America, here's what we'd want for it. And I think when you drive the car today, you need to experience all the effort that went into that. Oops. So when you look at the showroom itself right now, you have the Fiat 500, and this is the ultimate freedom of expression. There are so many different things, as Jason mentioned, that we are able to do different buzz models from 1957 to Gucci. Uh, we did an Abarth version. We took one piece of sheet metal and expressed it so many different ways. It's a fun to drive vehicle. And then we realized that there were some constraints with size. I mean, our market really, uh, people love the car, but we do have uh, a lot of need for space. So we came out with the 500L. It still had the Italian style, but focused a little bit more on functionality. The 500X is the sweet spot. It is the one that's going to deliver the best of the icon and the functionality you get on the 500L with even more capability when it comes to all-wheel drive. The great thing for the brand is that the reasons why people buy in the small crossover segment today are the same reasons people buy Fiat. So the fun to drive, driving performance, uh, styling, those are why they're buying it. The, the customers are buying today in the small crossover for that reason. That's our strengths. We're going to take a vehicle and put it into that space, allowing us to capitalize on the things that we've already brought to the marketplace. Jason mentioned that the segment is supposed to explode and we anticipate not just because of the current players in the market, but all the new entrants. And every one of those manufacturers is gonna have a different idea of what a small crossover should be based on their brand. We have done this very successful with the other vehicles we have in the market by having a dual personality, and this is going to continue with the 500X, and it's going to allow us to go after each individual competitor that comes into this space with a unique offering that is slightly different, yet appeals to a different client. So when you look at the Street Series, this is Italian style and design, maybe a little bit more refinement. And then you have the Trekking, which is the Italian style, but with more athletic flair to it. When you look at the lineup itself, we do have a good, better, best. And I want to make that clear. A lot of people see the number of trips we have, and we feel like if once you decide what style is right for you, within that you have a good, better, best. So the pop is our base model, which is anything but base. You start with a 1.4 liter, 160 horsepower, multi-air with a six-speed manual transmission. Projector headlamps. You get power windows and locks. You get power mirrors and heat. Uh, you get a three and a half inch uh, Uconnect system. And you get 16 inch steel wheels. When you go from, and that's at $20,000. When you go to the mid trims for both of these, you get content such as a standard 2.4 liter um, Tiger Shark engine with 180 horsepower. And that's made into a nine speed transmission. Uh, you get upgraded interiors. You get a five inch Uconnect system that gives you the Bluetooth and Bluetooth um, streaming uh, music. You get 17 inch wheels. You get passive entry, keyless go, and remote start. So that will be on 95% of our uh, offerings is that feature. And then you get the Fiat Dynamic Selector, which from a Fiat perspective is a critical element of the design. This basically allows you to adjust the way the vehicle responds to you um, so that you can change the driving dynamic of the vehicle. We'll go into some more details later. When you get to the lounge and uh, the Trekking Plus, this is where you start getting upgraded interiors, you start getting navigation as standard, you get a lot of creature comfort standard like uh, automatic temperature control, heated steering wheel, heated seats, um, things that the um, a pre more premium customer would want. So again, a good, better, best with inside of the two distinct personalities. So no matter what personality you choose, the content is almost identical. You are going to get the 9 speed transmissions, the Fiat dynamic selectors, you'll get navigation available, and then of course the all-wheel drive. When you start out with the POP, that has the 1.4 liter multi-air with 160 horsepower, 
and 184 pound feet of torque made it to a six speed transmission. That is the only place in our lab you can get a manual transmission. Uh, when you look at the segment and where people are going uh, with their purchase decision, uh, it is predominantly automatic. We feel like as the customer evolves um, and they're going and changing their lifestyle, they're going to migrate to an automatic. The Fiat Dynamic Selector, when you go out today, drive the car, put it into a sport gear. I think you're going to get that feeling that you would love to have if you were driving a manual. It adjusts so many different things and the calibration so that you get that exhilarating feel. And then the majority of our lineup will be the 2.4 liter um, Tiger Shark with 180 horsepower and 170 pound feet of torque, made into a 9 speed transmission. Here is the Fiat Dynamic Selector. So on every model except for the Pop, which for us is a 5% runner, so 95% of our volume will have this feature. And this is good for all wheel or front wheel drive. It, in auto mode, it gives you the, the um, most relaxed shift patterns, throttle mapping, steering calibration, the best fuel economy. This is where you'll spend most of your time driving. If you want to bring the car to life even more, you can put it into sport mode. This adjusts the throttle mapping, elongates the shift points, it uh, adjusts electronic stability control, stiffens the um, steering feel, and allows you to uh, have a much more sporty feeling vehicle. In those low traction situations, we have Traction Plus. If you need some grip, um, we can put it into Traction Plus, and again, we adjust the shift points, the throttle mapping, electronic stability control, and it gives the customer that extra dimension of security, whether it's front wheel or all wheel drive, again, adding that extra measure of confidence. When you look at the lineup for radios, the Uconnect 3 um, inch is the entry level radio. This gives you your normal features, your AM, FM, your USB ports, your aux ports. Um, all of our vehicles have the steering wheel controls on the back side of the steering wheel, so if you're not familiar with that, when you're driving, reach behind there, you have buttons on the back that allow you to adjust the uh, channel, the, the sound, what media you're using, um, all on the touch of your fingertips versus having to take your fingers off the wheel. All standard on the entry trim. The mid trim has a standard five inch Uconnect radio. This is where you get um, the XM Sirius radio, you'll get um, the 5 inch touchscreen, uh, you will get the streaming music and Bluetooth audio, and uh, hands free. Available on the mid trims and standard on the high trims, we have a 6.5 inch Uconnect system that comes with navigation, 3D mapping, Sirius traffic, so you can route yourself around potential construction or accidents, uh, traveling. Uh, for those that like to drive, get in their car and just drive, this gives you a lot of local information. You can talk about movie times, gas prices, even tells you weather alerts as you're going into different uh, areas, um, all on this vehicle as well. And then high definition radio is also part of this package. When you do the research, as we've been doing over the last few years on a vehicle that you're bringing into market, you start asking people what it would take for them to move into the different um, vehicles. And what we found throughout all of our conversations is that people are looking to right size their vehicle. They don't need the big cars anymore, but they don't want to give off their creature comforts. In the past, as you move down in size, you move more basic. People want to downsize a little bit, but they don't want to give up their creature comforts. If you look at the features that we've added to this vehicle, the passive entry, keyless go, remote start, again, on 95% of our, our volume. You have the Bluetooth audio streaming. That allows you to send your iTunes or your Pandora to your head unit and actually see the, the music and, and make the selections to your handset um, through the radio controls on the back of the steering wheel or on the radio face. Uh, we have the three and a half inch TFT that's completely customizable customizable in the cluster. And then we have great features like Beats Audio that allows you to hear music the way the artist intended. And then as you jump in the vehicle today, I think you'll realize the attention to detail that we put into the fit and finish and fabrics that are used inside of all these vehicles. But as much as Art will come up here and talk to you about the security that we put into the vehicle to keep people safe in the event of an accident, we also are trying to allow customers uh, to avoid those accidents by giving them technology to help them on their everyday commute. Features like lane departure, uh, vehicles like uh, 
for collision mitigation and blind spot. Blind spot um, cross path rear park sensors, that will be on about 65% of our vehicles uh, in the showroom. Um, this is again just adding that extra dimension of security for the customers that they drive the vehicles on the road. And then for us, the biggest opportunity for the Fiat brand in general is the all-wheel drive system. This is designed for on-road confidence. We are taking the all-wheel drive system that has a fully disconnecting uh, axle that gives the security of all-wheel drive when needed but gets the efficiency of front-wheel drive in most everyday conditions. So it will automatically flip between front-wheel and all-wheel as the customer needs it. So the vehicle itself will give that extra dimension uh, of security in areas like the Midwest, the Great Lakes, and the Northeast that historically have done well with Fiat, but there's that opportunity to do even better with a feature like all-wheel drive. So no matter what you intend to use your vehicle for, whether it's in snowy conditions, going to the beach, or in an urban setting, the 500X has the personality, the technology, and the all-wheel drive available to help you get there. I'm going to...